Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, here is our villainous, uh, sort of Rachno's Bane character, Juana Devil. And he's got his mace out. And uh, our last uh, episode, we went ahead and showed how you take a, a huntsman, or the basic level of a Rachno soldier, and our soldier of a Rachno's, and turn them into a Bane. And we have our character, and since then I've been playing uh, quite a bit. I got two more levels over here, now level 26. I thought it'd be fun to do a, a, a three mission story arc today. Uh, let me put it back in hide over here. This is our contact, Doc Buzzsaw. I already did a mission for this person. Um, I'm not sure if it's a male or a female, maybe a woman. Uh, uh, what we had to do in a previous one was she apparently did uh, body transplants into people, and if they don't pay her back, she repossesses these body transplants, which is pretty grisly. Uh, she's a pretty horrible person. So we have a new story arc to go. Let's see what she has to say to us. Heavy Metal Doctoring. A pleasure to see you as always. In point of fact, it's most opportune timing. I've decided to put all of our unpleasantness with the super freak behind me and concentrate my efforts on something much more practical. I decided to start producing tank freaks on my own. You see, most of the tank freaks here in the islands come from over in Paragon City. This puts my exuberant young friends in the freak show at rather disadvantage. By building tank freaks here, I can correct the imbalance. However, I'll need the assistance of a dependable individual to help me get what I need in order to begin. Excellent. I knew I could rely on you for able assistance. And the first thing I need you is more medical supplies. Fortunately, I've located a supplier. Unfortunately, the supplier will not, will likely not be willing to part with the supplies I need. To further compound the poor fortune, the current owner of the supplies is the family. I leave up to you, to your talents, as to how best to procure what I need. So we're going to steal medical supplies at Shark Head Island, which is where we're at now. So let's go ahead and head over there. Uh-oh. You know, I got my, my little jump pack on. It has a timer on it, though. I really like this jump pack. It's very, very convenient. It was only good for two hours. I'm down to about a, an hour and 20 minutes left. I think I can get a new one some, somewhere. I can't remember where I got this one at. I got them from some mission, I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember where. <laughs> all right, let's go in here and see what this is all about. Okay, again, we have uh, our basic powers. We have Bash, Pulverize, and Shatter. And then we have a ranged uh, weapon, Poisonous Ray. We got build up and we've got placate. And right now I have uh, tactical training maneuvers, which helps with some of our uh, resistance and, and thing, defense. And then uh, our, our um, cloaking device. And I also got, I went ahead and took aid self and aid other. Um, most people on, on the internet said you don't need those those things on this particular character. Um, I may get rid of them eventually, but I found this coming pretty handy so far. Now the good thing about this invisible ability thing, I can skip to the end if I want to. I need to steal four medical supplies to steal. So I'm going to skip a lot of a lot of these guys. But some, they look kind of tasty like this. An orange guy gives a lot of uh, XP. We'll go ahead and, and beat the heck out of him. <laughs> Very satisfying. Oh, here's one of the things right now. Very nice. I tell you, I've played other uh, games similar to this that have like a mace type or or a uh, bludgeon type uh, weaponry, and it doesn't feel nearly as satisfying to hit someone or head with with maces there than it does as it does here. I don't know why that is. I guess we should go up here and see if there's anything up here for us. Yeah, I also have a stalker character. The good thing about these kind of characters is you can kind of uh, bypass a lot of this. I think you can do these missions really quick, unless it's a defeat all. But if it's not a defeat all, you can do these missions really fast. Just bypass everything you need to. It hurts your XP gain. But there are a lot of things to do in this game.
See if any of these other guys want a, want a piece of that. This guy does. All right. Oops. We could fight them. Or just run right past them. Oh, that guy. Oh, they, this guy did see me. Somehow he saw me. All right. Well. Oh, boy. Look at the little sliver of life. I came out of hiding a little too quick. There's only four of these things in here. Did I miss two of them? I hear another one somewhere. Oh, here's one up here. Uh-oh. Hey! This guy hits hard. See if we can backtrack here and it's probably yakking when I should have been listening for the, the sound. <laughs> it doesn't look unnatural at all. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I see it. There. Ay, ay, ay. All righty. to give us the medical supplies we need. Let's get back to Doc Buzzsaw. We have our phone number, so we don't have to keep running around. Okay, with all these supplies, I'm ready to begin. Now all I need is a great deal of robotic parts, some control circuitry, and several energetic and power-mad young fools willing to throw their bodies away to become my armor-plated cybernetic experiments. The latter is surprisingly easy, but the former may present another opportunity for gainful work for you. I've secured some volunteers. Now all I need is a few critical parts. Fortunately, the Council is shipping in some new robotic supplies that match nicely. I need them and would like you to procure them for me. I suppose I should use stolen Cray technology components for the classic tank freak, but one must do with local ingredients, as it were. All right. One jump. Wow, that's pretty good. Exactly one jump. Uh-oh. I think we're going to be doing a cargo ship. Jeez. Okay, once we get in here, if, uh, if, it's this, if it's one of these three or four hole or cargo ships, uh, I will... No, well, I think we'll just race through and see if we can just kind of bypass everything. If it was a defeat all, I would just put on pause and just do it off camera. There's one of our boxes right here. Three more. A uh, short list, very detailed list of robotic opponent for Components. Okay. Let's 
see what else we got in here. Try the next uh, cargo hold. I've got this, the the special effect sounds turn really low while I'm for the recording that I'm doing. Uh, it sounds louder on the the final playback. But uh, so I can barely hear anything as I'm doing this, which makes it a little, a little more difficult. Here we go. Number two out of four. those guys there. They're all low, lower level. And when I get a little bit higher level, I'm going to probably move his, bump his difficulty levels up. He can really handle that. He has a three-holer, so there should be two of them in here. Unless I've missed something again. See something up here. All right, one more. Which, of course, I can't find. All right, I will put this on pause while I go search through this uh, ship again, and I will be right back. Well, apparently I ran right past it because it's sitting right here in this last room. <laughs> so that was pretty stupid. The other one I did was uh, right over there. So, all right, so let's see if I can do this without being seen. There we go. I'm going to level up here soon, too. Well, so far, this is a really short story arc. Let's see. With all these, with these final components, my tank freaks will soon be ready. Now all I have to do is prepare them, install these remaining parts, and hope that this council doesn't show up to destroy them before they're at full power. As if such an unlikely event could possibly come at this to pass. Uh-oh. Well, Bona Devil, you see, there's been a minor setback. The council and the family seem to realize that when I was at the root of their mutual losses and have taken over my lab before my new tank freaks were complete. Now those ruffians will destroy my beautiful creations. I will pay you handsomely to recover all three of the tank freaks I've already built. If you recover all three, I'll make, a certain, I'll make certain to provide you a tidy bonus. But if even one is destroyed, well, it shall be re reflected appropriately in your pay. All right, so i got to save these freaks. You must recover all three of them. Oh, heck. This seems like a kind of a, oh, it's not a time challenge. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, boy, where is this? Let's check the map. Oh, it's way down there. I guess it's faster to go as the crow flies. Sharkhead Island is 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 a base a bit of a linear map, but it's still kind of confusing with all the, the twists and turns to it. I like I like this map quite a bit though. But there are some high end things in this map that are pretty tough. But I do not mind being invisible at all. All right, let's see.
Well, there's one of the things we're trying to save. All right, let's go. not going to be much of a help if we run into problems. So we need to protect him as opposed to him helping us out. Yes, he's only green, so well, he, may be, he may be okay. Oh, I'm going to have to fight everybody, aren't I? Because uh, this guy's not good. We're just going to fight everybody, but they're all pretty low level. Make sure we don't miss him. Miss the other two. I kind of tank for the tank. Oh, no, he turned into a werewolf. What the heck? <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> I thought this guy was almost dead. All of a sudden, he's a werewolf. Bunch of guys coming up out, out of here. We didn't level up though. How's this guy doing? Oh, okay. Let's heal him up. I got eight. I got eight other. There we go. Two more guys down here. Where'd the guy go? Oh, there he is. Okay. I wouldn't mind if he just stayed there and didn't keep fighting. So it's a bit of a challenge here. You gotta, oh gosh, you gotta keep this guy hit, safe and healthy.
and missing one of these blue level guys is not a good way to go. <laughs> Take a big swing of your mace and you miss, and he's a low level dude. Health. He's almost full health. One more to go. Oh, these guys. Skip those guys and go on to where the, the last freak is. There he is. Here we go. Okay. How are these guys doing? Healthy? Let's give them some more health. Got in good shape. All right. Let's get them out of here. Okay, got all three. I'm guessing there's gonna be an ambush at some point in here. Yep, I see some uh, some word balloons. Oh boy. I wish I could direct these guys to stay out of the way. Let me do this. Here we go. Probably one more ambush, I'm guessing. Yep, I see some word balloons. Maybe not. Come on, guys. And we got 12 reward merits. Hey, there we go. All right, that was uh, that was actually a fairly short uh, story arc. Let's talk to Doc Buzzsaw and uh, get final thoughts on the matter. I congratulate you on a job well done. Want a devil with all the three of my new tank freaks? I will be ready to make a stunning presentation to my fellow meat doctors. And I have you to thank. Please accept your rewards. Alas, this must be our, my final payment to you. 
afraid that I will soon be so busy with building more tank freaks out of exuberant young allies that I won't have any time for the sort of field work you, you've helped me with so much. Let us part on a happy, on this happy note, then. I wish you well in your future endeavors and hope you find the destiny you seek. Well, that was nice. That was, uh, that was the story arc called Heavy Metal Doctoring. So that was it. Um, a little shorter than I thought. I, I was hoping to show a little bit more um, of the, the powers of the Bane. But I think that, that kind of covers it pretty well. I mean, it's, it's really just a case of sneaking up on guys, bad guys, and, uh, and beating them over the head. Or good guys, I guess, as, as the case may be. And um, what I'm going to do eventually is I'm getting pretty much all of these, uh, most of these training gadget things and crowd control, which is my AOE uh, attack power of the mace. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I'm also going to be getting the leadership power pool uh, maneuvers, uh, especially to help out with, with, uh, with, uh, with teamwork and stuff. So that, that's another big thing I'll be doing. I may be getting the tough and weave. I'm not sure, but I may replace the medicine pool with the, the fighting pool, you know, the boxing, the tough and the weave to boost my uh, resistance and uh, defense. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still only level 27, so I got a long way to, to go before I have to worry about that. So until next time, this is Greg29407 saying sayonara, and we will see you next time.